time for a little OCG in the TCG, guys. Joseph Basio, second place deck profile tonight. What were you playing? I was playing Dragon Maids without the Dragon combo. Or Dragon Link combo, as they call it. Uh, it is based off of the OCG. We don't have Maxi, but that was pretty good in our format. I'll start off with the hand traps. Uh, three ashes, because they're just versatile. And then three gamma, and the one driver. Um, the reason they run this in the OCG is because they have all the pot cards, including duplicity, which hopefully comes out um, in the next set. I'm also running extravagance, um, copying their type of build. You'll, you'll see why, it's more like them. Uh, three parlor. If you don't know what it does, it foolish burial is a dragon Maid card. Uh, three, mm, uh, what is this one? Chamber adds a spell or trap to your hand. Um, three, kitchen adds a dragon maid monster, discards a dragon maid monster. And one nurse, special summon a dragon maid from your extra deck. Run the big boys. Ernest, um, this one you can discard a card, special summon a level four from your hand. This one negates a face-up effect, and this one is a Kalut Man. Uh, it gives 2,000 attack to a uh, Dragon Maid monster. Um, I run three parlors. A lot of people in the OCG cut it to two, but since we don't have the draw cards, I figure this is one of the bigger cards to get out. Um, the two extravagance because I'm poor. Um, I can't afford a third <laughs> one, uh, so I only run two. Nah, I'm just joking. I, I like two right now. Um, I run one changeover. I do get it. It's been DD crowed, it's been banished, but I end up just hitting with the bigger uh, Dragon Mates. And for our meta, I run the one Harpy's Feather Duster. This would be one of the um, duplicities if we had it. Um, and then this is where it's kind of OCG ish, where they run the trap version, which is three strikes. Card's just too good. Um, three Dynamiscus, again, another good card. Tiding is what really gets the deck going or gets rid of problematic cards like Gwinda and um, anything that really comes out that you can't get rid of. You just bounce something and it's it's just a plus. And then I run one downtime like them because downtime at the end phase bouncing a card now, like a back row card, is just important. Or, you know, adding another um, Dragon Maid to your hand is big. Like, especially if you if something gets negated, you have changeover or something in your hand where you can make the um, extra deck monsters, you need this to, to move forward. Extra deck. Um, because we're running, uh, what, which pot is this? Extravagance. Oh yeah, because we're running Extravagance build, it's an Extravagance extra deck. So three show. If you don't know what Sho does, he um he's the Omni Negate of the the deck. Just goes back into the extra deck and special summons um what are you house. He also a lot of people don't know that he also special summons a dragon maid monster during any standby phase, which is really good for sure. Yeah, um house. This is the uh, if people aren't watching what you do in your battle phase or how you use tiding or um, if you just bounce back stuff, uh, popping an extra car, uh, card on the field or monster card on the field is just big. Um, I run two of these chaos guys because I run the gammas, and even though you mail the cards, if you don't hit a light or dark. Um, it's a plus because most of the time you're hitting Titan or a big dragon that needs to be in the grave or a missing piece that it looks bad but it's actually pretty good. Um, three Heavenly Spheres because Heavenly Spheres is the best card in the deck. If you get stuck, this is what's going to help you get out of everything because you just bounce stuff back. And then, kind of like them, one striker, <laughs> one phoenix. One unicorn and one Axis Cold Talker. This can be a flex. It can be Boros or Axis Cold Talker. I like Axis Cold Talker better because it can't be responded to, and you don't need another monster to um, switch to defense to get an extra attack. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, extra deck. Extra, extra. And then extra deck or, uh, or side deck. I run three Lancia because Lancia is good in our format. There's a lot of Virtual World. There's Dino Boys. 
Um, there's me playing this deck. I'm just kidding. Um, the Eldritch, uh, not letting them banish those traps are pretty good. Um, three Niberia. Normally we have anywhere from one to two. Um, what are those called? Virtual World players. So this is good. And then against the Dino guy, if he messes up. It's it's punishing. Um, and then against the Drytron, Drytron match, if you hit the <laughs> carrier play, it's, it's big. Uh, Raigeki, these are just tech cards. I like blowout cards. Um, a lot of people don't know how to play around this. I've noticed, um, for me, I see this card as a, it's either gonna get negated or it's gonna blow you out and that's why I like these cards and the only race they really get negated is by Solomon and half your life I'll kill you for the rest mm -hmm. uh, two cosmic I hardly ever side these in but for the outlitch match um, also for the virtual match sometimes I, I put them in if I don't have enough uh, to take out or have nothing to take out or I have to take out cards just to get rid of the uh, the trap I know it's bad in in theory because they'll just play another trap or nyan nyan or whatever its name is going to go to the the banish zone and then they're going to get it back but that's one or two turns you can buy off of with this card um and then for our meta i run three dimension dimensional bear we have a lot of fusion decks we have a lot of virtual world like i said and you know dry chalk just call ritual and i run one red boot red reboot because a lot of people are getting smart and starting to put traps in their deck woo 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 all right, so for the first time in a long time, you played the same deck for the last two weeks. Well, maybe a little different. So, yes. best match of those two times you you played it, and worst match of the last two times you played it. All right, my worst match I'll go first was against Virtual World because we played in the time, and I hate losing in time. Mm. But I gained the resources before we got into time, so I would have won if we had more time. Uh, and that was a losing match. Um, my best matchup with the Dragon Maid deck, I would have to say, was also losing because I didn't understand what Winda did. Yes, I said it out loud. I didn't know you can only summon once with Winda, and I've been over this like 10 or 20 times. But I thought because how a uh, chain link worked. Um, I was able to summon one more time, but I was not because Window would resolve his summon first. <laughs> so yes, that was the best matchup that I had. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week, guys. Tune in next week. Like, subscribe. Until next time. Smoke, smoke it if you got it. Later. <laughs>